sense, but, um, you know, it wasn't like I was blind or unaware that that was going to happen when I, you know, tried to do these other things. Like, of course, you know, an actor, like, writing a book, you know, it's like, that's not allowed, you know. And, um, so, I just had to, you know, ask myself, like, well, do you want to do this enough? And, you know, not only do it, but put it out in the world. Do you want that enough? Um, and if you do, then, you know, don't worry. You know, you can't worry about this other stuff. And I know, you know, I guess in the critics' minds, like, they're just safeguarding our culture or something like that, or, you know, or maybe, you know, I, you know, I'm in critical studies programs. Like, I have no problem with criticism or analysis, but, you know, when you're a creative person and you're putting your work out in the world, sometimes that criticism is um, biting, sometimes it's harmful. And, um, and so you just kind of have to be aware with, of that. And, and one of the reasons, and, and, and figure out a way to kind of deal with that and, and figure out who you're going to listen to and who you're not going to listen to for your feedback. Um, because I do believe feedback is incredibly important and it's one of the reasons that I, when I teach, I also design my classes this way so that they can't put their work out into the world. That's the final step. Um, seeing how your work is being read by audiences, by critics, if you care to listen to them. And so, um, and that, that is the final ingredient that will make you better. Because if you're making movies, you're making television, you're making videos, whatever you're making, you know, my guess is you're making it to communicate to for an audience to read it. You're not just making it for yourself to kind of watch unless you know you're making like I don't know, porn of you and your partner or something to you know, get off on. Like you're making it for an audience. Like and so so understanding how it's communicating to that audience is incredibly important. So I I do value feedback, but you just have to under like one of the things you learn in any MFA program, you know, if it's writing or filmmaking or art or whatever, is because they're usually run in you know, a um, workshop manner, you know, you're getting feedback from your classmates and your teachers on your work constantly. And one of the things you learn in that system is, well, his feedback is always lame. He does not understand what I'm trying to do. He's wrapped up in something, or he's angry about the way that I dress or something like his feedback is worse okay but she is always you know giving me good feedback and actually when I listen to her it makes myself better and so uh, and you just apply that to the larger world like okay this critic has some little you know drum to beat and he just doesn't whatever he's off on his own thing and he can you know beat the James Franco hate drum, fine, I don't care. <laughs> this critic, you know, gets it, and if I, oh, it made some great insight, okay, that will help me on the next one. And so you just have to kind of learn who to listen to and who not to listen to. And if somebody's telling you, just plain out, don't do that, you're not allowed to write books, you're not allowed to direct, like, I would just give the advice of don't listen to them. 